Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Get On With It, Liberal Crime Squad. I am Grimith, and I am pleased to present to you Update 15. Now, in my last update, we saw the founder of the Liberal Crime Squad continue to further the agenda by appearing on site at several locations. Now, the attempts to infiltrate the entirety of the CEO residence did not quite work out as planned, and I failed to manipulate the jury at the halls of ultimate judgment, along with losing my taxi. However, I successfully guided my founder through the police station, Ministry of Love, and Ivinson Garment Makers with success. I have obtained an ample war chest of money to fund the cause, and many of the issues are in our favor. In this episode, I hope to continue our success by sending Grimith forth to continue to manipulate the issues. Now, our targets this episode will be some of our weak points. We'll be going to the nuclear power plant, the Ministry of Love, the CEO residence, the AM radio station, and hopefully the cable news station, if it opens up by the time I get there. We shall be going clad in disguises, since our first target will be the nuclear power plant, we'll wear the lab coat, but we'll also be carrying around our AK. Because in addition to carrying through the task peacefully and looting the entire buildings, I will dispense liberal justice. Well, that's enough chit-chat, folks. It's time to get on with it. Let's unequip our AK, walk through the door. Now, I plan on going through and looting all these places. However, since... You've already seen what I will do. Uh, I shall pause this video here, and whenever I get to, in this case, the big red button, or if an emergency occurs, I'll unpause and let you view. See you then. Alright, viewers. We have looted the entirety of the nuclear power plant and stand poised to press the big red button. And so we shall. With success. Now we shall re-equip our AK and the assault rifle magazines and make our way out of here while murdering these poor hapless security guards who choose to stand in our way. Have they not learned that they are wholly inadequate at stopping the founder, the avatar of the liberal crime squad? He has murdered numerous conservatives. I would say countless, but you can easily see the count whenever we start the game up. So, at least there's a computer somewhere keeping track of those numbers. But he has killed, slaughtered so many, yet these security guards, through brainwashing, through uh, conservative education, through stupidity, continue to stand in my way. And what has happened? They have not inflicted one wound upon me. Not one. <laughs> That's right. They still haven't inflicted one wound upon me. Just two. Well, how about that? Time to bail out and run, folks. success. Now, the next place we shall be going is the Ministry of Love, which will require a black suit. And I still have the car? Alright. We'll use the car, then. Huzzah. We shall, of course, unequip the AK. Now, uh, the security, uh, the secretary I developed as a liberal sleeper last episode you may not have noticed because uh, Z-Sword and I were too busy enjoying the game. Uh, again, I would like to thank Z-Sword for joining me for guest commentary. It was very fun. Um, you, you may not have noticed that I plugged that secretary in as a sleeper for this reason. In the event that the intelligence headquarters is ever remodeled, there you go. Again, I shall be pausing this video. I will do my best to loot the, as much of the complex as possible. But my primary tar target, of course, is the supercomputer. See you later, folks. Well, folks, I did manage to, uh, to hack into the supercomputer and loot the entire left side of the complex. 
However, while going about unlocking doors and preparing to loot the right side, a guard dog once again spotted me. So rather than tempt fate by having a bunch of agents arrive on site, which my founder, despite his skills, cannot easily handle, we shall equip the AK and those three remaining magazines and make a break for it. I don't think I'm going to be able to escape here. So I'm going to try and kill him. Slow down. Plow through. Fight. 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 There we go. That was a... Uh, I still think of that as a risk. Because uh, Grimmiff's driving skill, not that high, folks. Not that high. Alright. Our next target shall be... Well, let's equip an expensive suit first. We are going back to the CEO residence. And hopefully I'll be more successful here than I have been. Now again, I'm going to pause the video and I'll let you folks see the results of whatever happens here. It appears that I should have kept recording the entire time because I successfully managed to loot the entire place. And I even made it through the first room while still having my AK-47 equipped. I didn't quite realize it until after I stepped away from a guard dog and realized, Oh, hey, I should have been caught. Well, I'll remedy that problem. Let's see if I can bring some liberal justice to these bastards. No, not to you. Not to you either. <laughs> you we go. Actually, well, damn. Damn, you bastard. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. I think my uh, my founder here might be in stun lock. Uh, I won't be able to keep firing for a few turns, and in the meantime, the CEO can continue to pummel my founder's juice down. It appears I picked a pad target for this, and this is the primary reason why you should not try to do these things solo. No matter how powerful your founder is, you carry a grave risk whenever you go into these situations alone. Now, being the stubborn bastard that I am, I'm going to continue to try to murder this motherfucker, even if he takes away all of my juice. In the event he takes away all of my juice, that will make the remainder of this update much, much more interesting. I might actually not be able to escape if I, my agility is rendered so low. Well, it appears all of that was moot, kids. All of my worry and concern, absolutely pointless. Grimmith got out of stun lock and murdered the motherfucking son of a bitch. Well, we've had our fun here, I do believe. We lost <laughs> quite a bit of juice, and we don't have much to show for it. So we're going to peace out, kids. All right. I was hoping to murder more people, but, well, you know, hey, risky. Let's continue our, uh, our quest to improve the issues by making another appearance at the AM radio station. Now, uh, I'm a little worried about coming here because I do believe that Grimmiff will not perform a great show, and security will pop up on the set. And I've seen quite a lot of security appear on set before, which is quite... Uh, a bundle for one person to handle. But, Grimmith is a man's man, and we're going to do this. I hope. First thing we're going to do is unequip our AK and proceed through the door. Now, I do believe I will also be pausing this because I figure you've seen me go through 1 a.m. radio station. You know how it is. Alright, so I shall catch you folks on the other side of this pause. Alright folks, we have successfully made it back to the microphone, and we are prepared to speak to the masses. First, we'll equip our AK-47, and the two remaining magazines we have left. Apparently the masses were not prepared to hear us, everybody. And now we shall have to deal with seven security guards. Well, I'm a man of action. Despite my lack of juice... I'm willing to take this risk. 
even in my expensive suit, let's do the dance.